The test was hailed as perfect by Kim Jong-un. On Sunday, North Korea successfully fired a medium-range solid-fuel ballistic missile. It's a step up compared to previous launches, because these weapons can be fired faster and are harder for outsiders to detect before launch. It was North Korea's second test in a week, another proof that the country has no intention of reining in its arms program. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe called the launch a snub to international peace efforts in the region and urged world leaders to put pressure on Pyongyang. At the G7 meeting later this week, I would like to focus on the North Korean issue as the main issue on the agenda in the hopes of sending a clear message. The move has dashed South Korea's hopes of reducing tensions with its neighbor. Newly elected President Moon Jae-in called for an emergency national security meeting following the launch. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson also condemned the test, saying economic and diplomatic sanctions against Pyongyang would continue. Donald Trump has pushed for a de-escalation of tensions with North Korea and has urged China, its only regional ally, to put pressure on the regime. Experts now believe Pyongyang is indeed getting closer to developing long-range ballistic missiles capable of reaching the U.S. The test launch at the weekend was the 10th since the start of the year.